Oi! So I'm back in Bundy in my hometown and I thought I'd stop off here. This is um, uh, Bundy Brew Drinks and they sell uh, ginger beer, Bundaberg ginger beer, Bundaberg root beer and a whole bunch of other brewed drinks. And uh, the reason I came here is because uh, the last, one of the last Sinistalker videos, uh, he picked up a bottle of Bundaberg root beer all the way over there in the USA. And so this is where that stuff comes from here in Bundy or Bundaberg. Um, so I thought we'd pop in. I've never been actually in this big barrel. This is like the entryway. So we'll go and see what we can see in there. Um, maybe pick up a drink. Um, and then <clears throat> I thought we'd go into town and check out the Moncrief Theatre, which is uh, a one-screen one cinema that's been in Bundy for years. And then maybe go to like the Blockbuster in the Video Easy, see if there's any second-hand rentals that are any good. And probably end up at the JB um, so do just a, a little bit of an out and about video in Bundaberg, my hometown. Um, and I'd just like to thank Sinistalker for the shout out in that video. I'm pretty sure it was in that video, man. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I get a, a nice, uh, humble little amount of viewers, but it's always nice when someone like Sinistalker, um, you know, mentions your name and, um, you know, it just, just helps you out a little bit, man. And, uh, while we're talking that, uh, Deranged Duncan, he's another cool one that I always love to watch. Um, Cody Cooper, who's uh, Dead, Boy, Dead by Dawn 93, love him. Uh, Horror Collector 1999, who I think is taking a break for a little while. I think he's coming back at Christmas. Always enjoy your videos. Um, a Knuckle, he's pretty awesome. I, I enjoy his vids along with Mr. Tony of the Dead. Man, there's tons of cool YouTubers out there. They're just a few that on the top of my head I can think of that I, I sit and enjoy, uh, you know, regularly. And um, and thanks to, you know, there's a couple of people um, that, you know, always comment on my videos um, that don't necessarily have YouTube channels, but I appreciate your comments too, so thanks very much for that. But anyway, um, let's pop in here and uh, see uh, what we can find. drinks and blood orange and lime. See what else we can see around here. There we go. Classic the ginger beer, that's the one you want to get. That's the one Bundy's famous for, the classic ginger beer. And then what do we got here? Pineapple and coconut. Never had that one. Apple cider. Traditional lemonade. Lemon, lime, and bitters, and cream and soda. That cream and soda is pretty good. And then guava, blood orange, lime, and grapefruit. The draft. Man, there's tons of cool stuff here, so I might pick one and go out. Oh, sarsaparilla. Oi, so I just went in, had a bit of a look. Um, so that little frontage, little barrel just behind me, is actually just like a. Um, just a little store that has all the drinks and t-shirts and you know all that sort of paraphernalia but I thought what the hell I'd never been in there before and I haven't tried half of these brewed drinks ginger beer I get all the time that's your classic so I just got this little pack here you can get a six pack um, of various drinks so I just got the classic had to get oh no I didn't get the classic I got the sarsaparilla I'd considered it but maybe I didn't get it because I get it all the time um, traditional lemonade which I've never had before, that's going to be good. The apple cider, never had that one either. See, there's tons of these drinks in the stores in Bundy. You see ginger beer everywhere. Sometimes you see the root beer. There's a few you see all the time, but some of these you don't. Passion fruit, I've never had that one before. Uh, peachy, that, that, so you see, see that in stores sometimes. I'm sure they're in a lot of stores, but just in your general ones, you only see you know, uh, a few all the time. And then this pineapple and coconut, which I reckon will be awesome. So, um, which I actually got a cold one of because they were all just warm ones. So I got myself a cold one of the um, pineapple and coconut to try on the way to our next uh, stop, which is the Moncrief Theatre, and then on to find some movies maybe. All right, let's go, guys. Oi, so I thought I'd stop in front of this place, the Moncrief Theatre. This theatre's been in Bundy forever. They sort of souped it up a little bit and made it a little bit a little bit more modern, but it's like uh, only a one uh, one screen cinema, and it's been there for years. I used to go there as a kid and um, watch, you know, all of the cool movies. I saw Wayne's World there and that sort of thing. 
Um, but yeah, it's still around, which is cool. Um, I think I looked at the front and said there's $7 movies, which is probably one of the cheaper ones in town. There's a big cinema now, um, a little further out of Bundaberg, which has got like seven cinemas or something. But um, yeah, this one is just a classic one. I don't think that many people go to it anymore. Um, but my, my favorite memory from here was seeing um, a movie marathon and the last movie they showed was uh, Wes Craven's New Nightmare and I remember trying to stay up all night trying to wait for Wes Craven's New Nightmare because it was last on the list. I think also on the list might have been um, The Endless Summer perhaps and that movie, uh, the, the original Star, Stargate, yeah Stargate movie. I can't remember, there was about five movies but I uh, waited there all night ready for not a new nightmare and at the time I didn't like it that much but as time's gone on it'd be one of my favourite in the nightmare series. But yeah, the old Moncrief Theatre, classic Bundy history there. Um, if you grew up in Bundy you know what I'm talking about. That's the old drinks and snack bar which is still here refreshments and then you got your door up to the cinema there just one door one screen classic so that was just a quick uh, I thought I'd just have a quick walk you just saw me walk into the Moncrief theater there um, but I've just actually missed the blockbuster which is back over that way but I have hit the video easy so we'll go there I think I'll probably skip the blockbuster now I don't feel like tracing back so we'll go to video easy see if there's any cool X rentals and then we'll head off to JB after that Oh well, Mr. Blockbuster, damn. Let's go see what's in here. No luck guys, that was crazy in there. Uh, I mean there was tons of videos to look at but they are all beat up and that sort of thing. They weren't in very good nick. I mean they are ex rentals but they weren't very well kept and for $10 a piece that's just crazy. I'm not paying 10 bucks for a beat up DVD that I could get probably for 10 bucks new. Anyway let's go to JB. Actually um, while I think of it, uh, while I was driving here, uh, a few other cool characters to check out on YouTube just as uh, that I, I check out regularly as well. Uh, Dr. Hasline, he's Aussie. Um, Seven Brett Five's a madman, he's an Aussie too. Um, pretty wild sort of character. And then uh, Midnight Crawler, I always enjoy his stuff. Um, and who knows, I might think of more on the way. But yeah, I was just, uh, as I was driving, I was just thinking of those few characters. I really like their vids. Anyway, guys, let's keep going. Here we go, guys, outside JB Hi Fi. Going and see if we can pick up something cool. Let's go, guys. We might head straight to the heavy metal section first, hey? See if there's anything cool. Let's come out. I was looking for the Haunted's new album. I don't know if it's here. I think it only just actually. I think it just came out today. The Haunted's new album. Let's have a look here. Oh wow, so I just got accosted in that store, that's why I just stopped filming and you've not seen anything else, but like seconds after I stopped, um, this guy comes up and goes, hey, why are you filming in our store? I was like, oh, you know, product placement, I just made some crap up. And um, he, didn't, he didn't take kindly to that, so uh, yeah, that was it, the phone had to go in the pocket, no more filming, so I've never had that before, but you know, why are you filming in my store? Anyway, I got some cool stuff. Uh, we might go home and uh, see what we got. We'll open it up there. Okay, we'll see you there. So yeah, that's the end of the day. Um, unfortunately, that JB thing didn't work out for filming, but whatever. And um, it was cool to go and see the brood, uh, Bundy Brood drinks. I'd never been in there. It was just that little showroom and stuff. I'm sure all the, all the stuff's up in the um, industrial area behind it. But it was cool to go and get a few drinks and uh, check out the Moncrief with you guys. Uh, classic old Bundy theatre and so basically I got a couple of little things from JB uh, or no no movies today just uh, CDs so I got Phil Rudd who is the drummer for ACDC it's a brand new album um, 
I didn't know what to think of this. I just saw Phil Rudd and I thought, oh man, it can't be, can't be bad. Uh, it's got to be some solid rock at, at the very least. And um, I've listened to a few tracks, man. It sounds pretty cool. Don't expect anything mind blowing, but it is some solid music there. Um, I don't think you were ever going to go wrong with that. And then I got She Had, which is a New Zealand band, one of a fairly high profile New Zealand band. They've had lots and lots of albums since the 90s. Um, I like them. They're just uh, some, some cool rock and roll. Um, always enjoy a bit of She Had. And then finally, this is what I kind of went in for, is The Haunted's new album. I love The Haunted. I've seen them play a few times here in Australia when they've come uh, a couple of times. I've seen them live. And this is their new album. And I did not know that that's uh, a different singer on there. So I kind of like their old singer, Peter, is it Dowling, Downing, one or the other. Um, who start, was on the first album, then skipped a couple, and then it did the last four. Uh, I really like the, the, the last four or so albums that he's been on, which is fantastic. So it'll be interesting. I just figured he'd be the singer again, but he's not. So And there's a few line-up changes, so I don't know. Um, it's still going to be The Haunted, but I, I really did like him as a singer. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty cool, man. A few little pickups there. Uh, a bit of music, no horrors this week. But uh, yeah, it was, it was fun times nonetheless. So thanks guys for watching and we'll see you next time.